good afternoon everyone how are you today it's math class and today we are going to continue the lesson we have started yesterday about how to analyze paragraphs so i want you to get ready for the lesson of today also get your math book because we are going to use it now let's read the day and date i need your help to read the day and date so let's go ahead and read the day and date the day is Monday and the date is April 27, 2020. Well done! So as you can see here, a bar graph. So let's start the lesson. So by the end of the lesson, you will be able to draw conclusions and answer questions based on bar graphs. Mental math time, here what you are going to do is to read the numbers and then add 100 more for each number. So let's do the first one and then you do the others by yourself. Okay, so if I add 100 to this number, 125, okay, so everyone what is the answer? 225. Well done. 225. Five. Five. Well done. So what you are going to change is the number. Which number? In the? Hundreds place. Well done. So here, let's read the paragraph together. Or let me say analyze and to analyze something you need to examine it carefully so let's read the question together students, students are, are surveyed to find their favorite field type of transportation the results are used to make the bar graph shown here use the bar graph to answer the question so, as I said to you so far, or every time I say this, we use the tally chart, the picture graph, and bar graph to record data, to collect information. Okay, everyone? So, here, let me say, or ask you, what does a bar graph show? Bar, oh, sorry, transportation. Well done. So, as you can see here, we have bicycle, scooter, and skate. Skateboard. Well done. So, let's go and check how many students voted for bicycle. Five people. How do you know? Because here it's written number five next to this bar, so I know it's five. And what else? Because you can see five colored box or bars. Well, well done. And how many people voted for scooter? Two people. One, two. And for skateboard? One, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now let's read the questions, everyone. Our Before reading the question, what is the total of the people who have voted for their favorite transportation how do we know we're gonna add, add. yeah so here five i need your help plus plus two plus two four. plus four. Uh oh sorry for this plus four so everyone what is the total 11 11 well done so let's say 5 plus 2, 7. 7. 7 plus 4, 11. 11. Well done. So let's go read the questions over here. How many students have a bicycle? 5. 5. Well done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And how many students chose a scooter, a scooter sorry, or a skateboard? 6 students. Well done. How do you know? I added them. Okay, so here, one, two, three, four, 
plus 1 to the total is 6. And finally, how many students were surveyed? 11 students. 11 students. Well done. So here's a link. So I want you to watch the video and then come back to talk more about how to analyze bar graphs. Okay, here is the problem of the day, and yesterday we did this together. I want you to have a look. Okay, everyone. Now, let's move to task options. Here, task number one. Okay, I want you to open page 559, sorry, in your math book volume two. So what we are going to do is to use the bar graph to answer the questions. So look at the bar graph and tell me what does the bar graph show? Favorite topping. Favorite topping. Well done. So what do we have here? Onion, mustard, kitchen. Well done. So before reading the questions, let's find the total first of the people who voted for their favorite topping. So how many people voted for onion? Three. Well done. And for mustard? Four. And for ketchup? Five. Well done. So let's find the total, everyone. Okay. So three plus four equal? Seven. And seven plus five equal? Twelve. Great. Well done. So let's read the questions over here. How many people voted for mustard? Four. Well done. And what topping do most people like? Ketchup. Ketchup, well done. Ketchup, so we're going to write ketchup here. Which topping is like the least? Onion. Onion. So we're going to write onion here. And finally, how many people like mustard? or onion. So let's go to mustard. Here how many people? Three. One, two, three, four. Okay. And for onion? Three. Three. So four plus three equal? Seven. Seven. Well done. Okay. So I want you everyone to uh, turn the page and go to page 560. Okay. So what we are going to do is to read the questions and answer them according to the bar graph. So first of all, what does the bar graph show? First day. Well done. So how many people have April, April birthdays? Well done. How many? Five. Five. Well done. And how many birthdays are in? February and March. So we are going to add them together. So... In, in February, there is 1, and in March, there is 3. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. Wow. Very good. And the last question is, how many people were surveyed and all? We're going to add, add them together. Or the, if you want to find the answer, also you can count the colored boxes. So... In January, how many people? Two. Two. And then February? One. One. And then March? Three. Three. And then in April? Five. So what is the total? Let's add these numbers together. So one plus two? Three. Three. Three plus three? Six. 6 plus 5? 11. 11. Well done. Okay, everyone. Finally, don't forget to upload your work in your class dojo portfolio. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.